Hello and welcome to this Rental Car Manager demonstration video. My name is Corbin Anstis and I'm going to walk you through how to make a new booking with the use of the new booking module. So instead of the whole booking or reservation being on one page, you can see the booking has five separate tabs. These are driver's details, booking details, booking fees, booking payments and booking documents. As you can see, I've already put in my details. Um, it's key to note that pre-existing customers' details will already be on the system. You can simply type in their last name and select the right person and all pre-existing info will be shown, just like it is here. It's very simple to use and interactive and based on what system parameters you have set, information can easily be changed, whether it's someone's phone number to someone's address changing. It's key to note that once this booking has been submitted, that particular customer's details will be updated and saved on the system. Other additional information can be added such as company info and any other additional drivers. Uh, which is the same process as adding the original driver's details like I showed earlier. Now moving on to booking details. As you can see, I'm unable to move on to booking fees, payments and documents. This is because there are mandatory fields that need to be filled out, such as the vehicle category. So for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to select an economy um, select vehicle. The pick up and drop off locations are of course just made up for this demonstration. Now I'm selecting the dates I wish to use in the vehicle. As you can see, there's the two different ways you can select your dates, either the drop down options or by clicking on the calendar. I'm already onto the system, so the source is already selected as repeat customer. Now selecting the travellers, which is a mandatory field, there are lots of other different uh, fields that can be filled if you wish, uh, such as the campaign code and the agency. So now we move down to the vehicle selection. Seeing as I selected Economy Select as my vehicle category, uh, these are the vehicles I am able to select. There are optional fields you can fill out, such as how much fuel is in the car at the start and at the end, as well as a kilometre count. The next stage is booking fees. As you can see, it's got the amount of days I've selected the vehicle for when I was doing my booking details. The daily rate is set up as well as the recommended rate with the use of the rate utilisation tool. Obviously this particular vehicle and or vehicle category doesn't get utilised enough, hence there is a cheaper rate. You can change this if preferred. There are lots of options that can be selected based on what you have set up, such as discounts and insurance. I will select a GPS for my vehicle and as you can see the total is updated straight away. It's key to note that the additional add-ons are daily fixed or done by percentage. These of course can be changed based on your system parameters that you have set up. The rates, fees and total amount are all on the booking payments. The TAS tax or Tasmania tax in full was just something I added seeing as my location was in Hobart, Tasmania. You of course can make additional uh, state taxes based on what locations you have set up already. It's very easy to make payment and you can just add your payment location, type and amount. As you can see here, you can also add your credit card. The booking documents tab is essentially confirmation of the booking slash reservation. On the booking summary, you can see all my details and information I have put in the booking. Another important and commonly used option is the email confirmation. On this you can do a print confirmation. You can also email the customer confirmation of the booking. When selecting print receipt, it's key to note that the receipt number should be the same as the original booking number. The original booking can always be updated. As you can see on the screen, I'll change the booking from 7 to 8 days. Uh, all rates and fees will be updated accordingly, as you can see here on the screen. And to exit, simply click on the X at the top right of your screen and click Yes.